Jamie and I have been spending this episode exploring the idea that if you're in the water during an underwater explosion, you are far safer lying flat on your back at the surface than you are even treading water. We've done some small scale experiments. Nice. We've done some large scale blasts in this here Quarry Lake. Ooh, yeah. We have not yet looked at our data. We have one more data point to get, one more blast. And then we're going to look and see if it actually correlates to what this myth purports to say. Okay, 30 feet, are you good to go? I'm good to go, let's do it. In three, two, one. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Those of you keeping score, 10 pounds of explosives, 15 feet under the water, 130 feet from where you're standing on land feels exactly like an earthquake. Well, it all comes down to this. David's crunching our last set of numbers, and that's the final piece of the puzzle that we need to answer our question. Remember, the question is, during an underwater explosion, does it really make a difference lying on your back compared to treading water? And the threshold number to keep in mind is... What our research has uncovered is that people exposed to a pressure of 87 PSI or higher have a greater than 50% chance of dying. That's our threshold then. Anything below 87 PSI milliseconds is alive, anything above it equals dead. And hot off the portable printer, the figures make for a pair of happy Mythbusters. Remember, Jamie smiles on the inside. Dude! Check that out! <laughs> Nicely done! Doesn't get any clearer than that. It totally does not. I have to admit we have rarely gotten data this lovely. We had five sensors, three blasts for 15 separate data points, and this whole story comes down to two data points. The sensor we had at six inches versus the sensor we had at two feet for the blast from 30 feet away. That blast would have killed you if you were treading water, and you would have lived through it if you were lying flat on your back. That's the story we came to tell, and that's the story the data tells. It's lovely. It's a definitive set of data, all right, but to really put this myth to bed, Jamie reads it a story called Why. All this data is great, but what it doesn't tell us is why. Now, I did a bunch of digging around, and this is what I found. Energy doesn't like to transition from one material to another if they're different. The more different they are, the more it doesn't like it. So in the case of an explosion underwater, as that pressure wave travels towards the surface, it bounces off because it can't pass through it. And what it does is it transitions from a pressure wave to a tensile wave and therefore it's able to neutralize a lot of the energy, especially in that surface zone, and that's why it's safer there. 